Yo guys, what's good? It's Tariq, aka Tariq for Kips, and I'm a single songwriter. I'm here with Blueprint Afrik TV to answer some questions about Lagos. Let's do it. For me, like, I grew up in three different states, so like, I'll just say how Lagos affected me, like, the most, you know, cause for one, moving to Lagos after like, I think I moved to Lagos like when I was a year old or two years. And then I had to go through school and literally understand the whole idea of what Lagos is all about. You know, it's more than just a state, you know what I mean? Like, first of all, I can't even speak Yoruba, so I always felt like I was some, so I was a bit, you know, sidelined to one of those guys that just come to Lagos. You're not actually part of Lagos and all of that. But ideally, like, Lagos for me, growing up in Lagos was one of the best ways, you know, I became woke in a way. I had to be woke. <music> Darling, nah, you don't do. You can't be ignorant in Lagos. You can't, you know, say you don't have an idea or you don't know when this is happening, you know. If there's something happening in your area, you have to be aware of it. If there's a party happening, you have to be in it too. <music> Having a Lagos eye is just having that idea that, look, this is happening and always be, always have an idea of what's happening around you. Your surroundings, everything is in check. You know that, look, if I leave here, I have to do this immediately or something might happen, you know what I mean? Emotions, because I made emotions when I was in uni. Every emotion I felt when I was making that song was when I was in uni and that, and that school was University of Lagos. Their insecurities for sure, the last song on the project, that's obviously because, you know, that's the hustle, you know, Lagos is all about that hustle and, you know, cover the whole strive and the whole, you know, struggle and all of that when it's late night, because we all go turn up. About Signals, Signals is pretty much, you know, that party song. I made Signals when I, I was in a particular, you know, outing with someone and I could see that, you know, this pretty looking girl was actually feeling my steez, you know what I mean? I could see the signals that she was giving, you know what I mean? So like, I had to, you know, just let her know like, what's up? And then coming to me and letting her know what's up, she was acting like, she was acting like a complete stranger and all of that. So, you know, I had to just go back to the studio and say my mind. You know I mean? Everybody knows everybody. Never say anything bad about anybody. In terms of a girl, like every girl knows every girl. Don't say anything bad about any girl. She might just be best friends with her, especially on the island. I don't speak, you know, too much to about other people. So, but I've seen, you know, scenarios where that happened. I have a friend whose ex is his best, his girlfriend's best friend, and they had no idea. It wasn't like he knew. Like he just found out, like, yo, Alpha, Alpha, this babe now, like, are you serious? And they just say, ah, hi, and they just look, whoa. And they all acted cool though. Everybody's acting cool. Like both of them are acting cool. The ex and. You know, my guy, they're acting cool, like, oh, I don't know you, I don't know you. But it's weird, especially when I'm there, because I laugh a lot. You never know. You actually don't know. Like, Lagos is, I know they say Lagos is like, Lagos is just really popular there. Yeah, that's facts. But you actually don't know. Like, everybody knows everybody. Yo, like, you can actually feel like, yo, you, you are in somewhere completely new. And then, boom, you just see someone that, you know, that you, how did you get here? Like, how are you here? You know, you never know. <laughs> I had feelings for like two different women. I actually had genuine feelings for them both, but I was trying to eat my cake and have it. And then I felt like, you know what, I should not do that and just let one know, you know. So I told the one that I met second that, look, I really like you, but I have a girlfriend. And then, you know, the one, and then I stopped, I cut ties with her. And then the one that I was with, you know, that I left the other one for, caught ties with me. When it comes to living in Lagos, there's this feeling of always being on your toes. You can't be lazy in Lagos, you know? And for me, the best part, you know, even with the being on your toes here, yeah, is that with how much work you have to put in Lagos to actually survive or to actually like make ends meet and all of that. 
everybody just acts cool when it's Friday night or when it's like the weekend because everybody's going to party. And then on Monday, people will be like, oh, wow, I have work. I have, no, I have bills to you know, pay, but like everything, all of the bills and everything is, nobody really thinks about that when it's the weekend. I think it was probably the one in a club with a stripper. I'm sure a lot of people have seen the video. It was also my first time being in a strip club in Lagos. And that was also the video that was in that. That, that was also part of the segment in Black Moon's video that he had posted up for me. So after all of that video, we still stayed like a couple of minutes. And I was enjoying it because it was nice. I was like, yo, you know, my if is like the moment, you know, the moment I was having fun, bopping, you know. But then, you know, I had some cheese in my pocket, you know what I mean? Like, so I was like, oh, let me even understand what's happening here, you know, understand this scenario. And then, you know, normal things now, like I was with this stripper and then she was, it was all nice and cool. And then, you know, she sat on me and then, you know, it was nice. I mean, that's what, you know, that's her job, you know, to, you know, everybody's having fun, right? You know? And then next thing she's like, and I'm like, what? And then she's like, she held me so hard, you know, you know, there and I was like, and I, he, my, my manager was not there, so I was like, okay. And then she was like, and I was looking at me and she was, she was literally smiling and there was nothing to smile about. And she was like, and then she kept dancing and acting like everything was cool. And I was like, no, nothing is cool. And I was trying to reach out to Black and look at every other person. Nobody was, nobody was paying attention to me, but I was losing my mind. And then to make things worse, like she was actually like really, you know, it would have been nice if it was like a soft, you know, like pet seat or something like that. But it was a strong frame, like it was like, like it was a strong hold. I felt like the blood pressure, you know, stopped around that area, you know. I had to adjust some things at the end of the day. And she still wanted me to spray her money. And she was holding me so firm, so I just kept spraying. So you can get me, you know. <laughs> but yeah, she's calm now. She collected my snap, you know, so. I don't speak to her by the way, cause. I mean, not in a long time. Chocolate like Lupita. I follow me like Sunita. Soon lay me my Sunita. Ah, ah. That's it. That's that's the that that has to be the chorus. Chocolate like Lupita. I follow me like Sunita. Soon lay me my Sunita. Ah, ah. That's because every Every nightlife, you always see that brown skin, good looking, you know, young girl. I always, let me not say you always, but I always see them. And she's always, you know, dancing with her waist and all of that. And all of that waist movements, you know what I mean? And that's Sunita. And then, come on, why would you sleep at seven? You can sleep over at nine. Like, Sunemi Ma Sunita is, you know, you should feel comfortable around me, you know? Why would you, you know, spend the night, you know, outside when you can spend it at mine? You know, so Sunli Mi Masunita. That's it's a Yoruba word. You know, it's a slang that I made. Lounge. We need space to turn up. Depends on who I'm doing. If I'm having a, a, a if I'm about to eat and my manager says he wants to speak to me, we'll do brunch now. I don't have time. But, you know, if it's someone who's like who I'm close to, you know, yeah, it's be to be dinner. Fine dining or buka, it's a tough one. It's a really tough one. I, I love. Look, I'll have to go with buka. For me, Lagos is the two sides to Lagos, you know, and this is not even about the mainland or the island or anything like that. You know, what I mean, like, although if you if you're driving you know late night on third milan bridge you could just look left and right you see like the left side you can see like all of the lights you know all of the street lights all of the tall building all of that on the right side you'll just see brown roofs and all of that brown roofs and different kind of things and finding the right balance in lagos is really important you know you know most people don't pretty much figure that out but you know someone like me now i'm really much more focused on you know, the bright lights and the partying, but like, trust me, you need to find the right balance in Lagos. 
And always follow who know road because there are too many people that say they know but they don't know for sure. So yeah, follow who know road, find the right balance between you know. Yo guys, what's good? That was my session, and as you know, I'm Tariq, aka Tariq for Keeps. And this was pretty fun. I mean, for the most part, until when the taunting started, but like it was fun, you know. A big shout out to Blueprint Afric TV, you know, big shout out to you guys. Check out my IG and pretty much every social media handle, Tariq for Keeps, T-A-R-I-Q, F-O-R, K-E-P-S for Keeps.